Hi and welcome back. I'm Jadi and I was thinking about showing you some of my cool tools. I used to work as a software enhancer. I used to make people's programs faster. They had a program, they had a startup, they had a, I don't know, software and it was working, but it was not fast enough. They would come to me, I would make them run faster. And when we are talking about making software faster, we are not speaking of 10% or 30% increase. At least we are talking about two times or better 10 times increase in speed. Because if you have something in your startup and someone makes it 30% faster, it's practically useless because you will have 30% more users and the problem arises again. You have to go into magnitudes. Uh, one of the methods, we, I had different methods. One is profiling the program, see where is the bottleneck, solve the bottleneck. Because it is not like that you are writing a better routine and making it 30% faster. Most of the times you had a pipe, you have a pipe, somewhere something is stuck. As soon as you solve this, it's much, much, much faster. Same thing happens here in making softwares faster. You have a program and there is one bottleneck. If you can solve that bottleneck, everything runs flawlessly and faster. But another technique that those days was running the program with PYPY. Uh, nowadays, Codon is also another great alternative. I wanted to speak about Codon today. But let's start from the beginning. When you write your program in, for example, Python, it's a interpreter interpreter for example you run your program with python 3 it reads the first line runs it second line runs it third line runs it if it needs somewhere it defines a variable in this line then change it here it's running it line by line this is called interpreter most of our scripting language now that nowadays are interpreting language like php and others on the other hand, we have compilers, for example, C compiler. When you have a C program, you run everything, then you compile it using the C compiler. It gives you an executable and then runs this whole thing. Writing compilers is kind of more complex than writing interpreters. Also writing programs for compilers are sometimes more complex. That's why nowadays we have this much of different scripting languages. Because here you have to define your variables, you have to predict things, you have to define your functions and this kind of stuff. Here it's just line by line running the program. Anyway, now I wanted to talk about Codon. Codon is a high performance Python compiler. It's Python, but it's a compiler. Unlike Python 3, which is an interpreter and runs line by line. Codon writes, reads all of your program in one place, makes an executable native machine code. So if you are on a Mac, it writes Mach code for your, for example, ARM CPU. It's a really real executable and runs it without any overhead. Please note, we also have something like a Python exec or something. I'm not sure what it is called. It's makes executables from your Python script and you can give them away and people will run them on their Windows or Linux or Mac with no problem. But that way, it is practically bundling the whole Python thing plus your program and creates an executable here which runs Python and makes it run your program. So you have a very huge package which runs includes the whole Python, which runs your script. In this case, like Codon, what happens is Codon reads your program, creates a small native executable for your operating system. It's like you can imagine that this program has been written in C, no difference. And this makes it much, much faster. It claims 10 to 100 times faster runtime. And it's just like C or C++ or even sometimes it can be faster. To install it, this is the 
way. We've already talked about curl in previous uh, session or lesson. And the point is, it reads this with curl, runs it with bash. So practically in one line, you install cotton. Please note, this is very, very, very dangerous. I've tried to draw an scope. This is very dangerous. Practically, you are running someone else's code on your computer without reading it. So, make sure that you are running it from a legit website and you know what you are doing. In this case, I trust Codon people and I know what I'm doing. But let's show you an example. As always, I'm in Tmax. I will write a small program. This is like called prime i already had the prime no problem here i want to write a program which counts the number of prime numbers below hundred thousand so i have a function is prime it says for i in range of two to int of n so practically i'm going one by, by one by one up to the middle of the number i'm checking We'll try to divide the number to this number. So I say if n divided to i had no residue or reminder or whatever it is called, return false. If the loop is finished, return true. Easy logic. It gets an n. Then we'll go from two, three, four, up to the middle of the end. We'll try to divide n to these one by one. If it's divisible, it returns false. If not, at the end it returns true. Then I can say count is zero. I want to count all how many prime numbers I have below 100,000. So I say for i in range of two to hundred thousand if is prime i count plus one and at the end i say sorry print count so i say python 3 run this prime program take some time okay if i have not mistaken these are the number of the prime numbers below 100,000. But it was slow. If you want to make it fast, easily run it with a uh, codon. Codon, run prime, the easiest method. It was much faster, but still not fast enough because codon compiles the program. So each time I do a run, it reads this, makes an executable in the memory and executes it. If I want to make it a little bit faster, I can say release. I want a release version. So no debugging info, nothing there. Make it a little bit faster. But the real thing happens when I say codon build. When I was doing a run, it was reading this, creating an executable in the memory and then executing. When I say build, it creates an executable and writes it on the disk. So, build, release, prime. Ow. Ah, okay, I have to tell it what I want. I have an executable for the system I am on. Ah, build. So I'm telling it, I need a build, so give me an executable. Sorry, give me an executable. Here I have to mention it. I could say I want LLVM and run it whenever I have LLVM. But I ask for executable, so it gives me an executable for the system I am on. Release, I want it uh, optimized. If you can do any optimization, do it. And build. So it gave me and prime. It gave me this file, prime executable, only 33 kilobytes. So it doesn't contain Python. Even you can check it with file prime. It says it's Mach. 
64-bit executable for ARM64 on Mac kernels. Now I can run it super fast. Much, much faster at least from the previous run. You can use time to time this program. Python 3 prime. Time will give you how much time this running took. In total, it took six seconds. This much for the user, this much from the system. So I can say time my prime and it's less around uh, yeah, 60 times faster. This is super amazing, the same program. But please note, uh, the, uh, please note two things. Colon has more features too. For example, you can use OpenMP or you can directly create GPU kernels. You can see it directly imports GPU and you can do GPU kernel calculations. This is one point which is super good, but Coton is not a drop-in replacement for Python. It has differences, especially if you are working with large integers, for example. It works more like C in this case. We'll overlap and return back from zero numbers. So it is not like that whatever you can run with Python 3, you can just drop in colon and make it faster. You have to check your code, check the documentation. But in many, many, many cases, this works flawlessly and I have used it in lots of places and said, okay, I will accept your project. I will make it at least 10 times faster. I just did funky things and after some time I said, okay, here your program. Run it with code. Have fun and teach people what you know. I was Jody. I still am Jody. Tell your friends. Thank you.